Hello, welcome to lesson 20 of my Learn to Write series. We're working on our one arm robot letters and we have just learned how to write a letter. <laughs> so today we're going to do a B. Okay, so it's another tall letter and in fact it's very similar to the ha ha ha. I'll show you. We're going to do the same big long lead in, the same big long letter. Here we go. The arm is going to come out the same. Here we go, look, we're going over the hill. This is exactly like a hut, isn't it? Oh, what's going to happen? Here we go, over. Looks exactly the same as a huh. And then suddenly at the last minute, we're going to tuck it under and then do a little lead out ready for our next letter. Fantastic. Let's practice that with our magic pencil, shall we? So get your magic pencil, sharpen it up. Exactly the same as a huh, which we've already done. Up we go. Up, 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 up to the top. Down, 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 down. And then we're going to go about halfway up, maybe even a little bit less. Before we go out, we're going to go all the way over the hill as if we were going to do a ha ha ha, but then we're going to tuck it in and do a little lead out as if we we're going to join into our next letter. Let's try that again. Up the hill we go. Down, 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 down. Over the hill. Over, 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 over. And then at the last minute, tuck it in. Do a little lead out ready for your next letter. Let's try it one more time. Up the hill we go. Down, 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 down. About halfway up, maybe even less. We're going, here comes the robot's arm, out we go to the side, as if we were going to do a hub at the last minute, tuck it in, do a little lead out, ready to go into your next letter. Well done, let's go and practice that on some paper, shall we? So, um, we're practicing our but, but, but today. Um, now, I like doing the but, but, but after the ha, 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 because they're very, very similar. First of all, let's choose a colour, let's have a red today, shall we? Um, let me show you the R first, because these are one-arm robot letters. So here's your R. Okay, now remember when we practiced our ha ha ha, we said that it was a tall letter, it had a big tall stick. It went over about the same place as the R and had a little flick. Fantastic, well now let's practice the but, and you'll see next to it that it's very, very similar. So it's the same, a tall, tall letter. Down, 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 down. Then we're going to do exactly the same over the top, as if we were doing a ha. Huh. Here we go, still looks like a huh, still looks like a huh, but then at the last minute, tuck it under and then do a little flick out ready to go into your next letter. Okay, let's try that again. Up we go, up, 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 up. Down, 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 down. Now we're gonna go up. Out comes your arm, over the top, over the top, and then tuck it under at the very last minute and then do a little bit out ready to join onto your next letter. Let's try that again, up, 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 up. Down, 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 down. Over the heel, over, 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 tuck it in. Awesome. Remember, if you're a bit nervous about doing this journey with your pen, get your grown-up to do it in a pencil or a lighter colour and you can go over the top of it. Okay, up, 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 up. A nice tall stick over the top, round. Now, people get muddled up between the butt, butt, butt and the duck, 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 but you can see that actually they look very different because the butt is a one arm robot letter Whereas your duh, 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 I'll show you a duh, here you go. It's a curly caterpillar, isn't it? It starts with the curly caterpillar. So it's actually formed very differently. You don't start with the stick. And that's why we say first the bat and then the ball, because we do the straight bit first, first the bat and then the ball. Okay, the ball is, whereas with a duh, 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 you start with the roundy bit with your curly cuff shape. That's a good way to, let's keep it with green, shall we? So here we go, let's practice some bu -bu 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 buzz. Here we go, over the hill, over, over, over. Pretend it's a her. Oh, we're going to tuck it in. There we go. And the little line out. That's almost invisible, that but, but, but it, um, lead off. Here we go. And this is just helping our hand to remember the journey that it has to make. Doesn't matter if your buzz don't look exactly the same as mine, as long as the journey that you're taking is the same. Okay, so we can practice some nice big ones. And then we can practice some smaller ones. Up, 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 down, 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 down. Make sure it has that nice tall stick. So one arm robot letters. Sometimes you have a small little robot, like with a rrr. But for these letters, the hup and the butt. You need a big, long, tall body. Change your colours if you'd like to. Change the size of the letters that you're practising. Because all you want 
is your hand and your pen to remember the journey. Obviously, we want to be able to do small ones eventually, like a grown-up, but it doesn't matter how big we practice. We could even do a massive, massive one. It takes about a whole paper. If you're just remembering the journey you've got to take, that's completely fine. Well done. Right, let's go and practice these in a more interesting way, shall we? So we're going to practice our letter but and we're going to do it electronically today. So we're going to use some kind of tablet or a smartphone, anything like that. Um, I'll show you how to practice your but on those. Right, we're practicing on our tablet today. Any tablet will pretty much do it. You might have a paint app or a drawing app. I'm just going to go into memos. And then often you'll find that you have a drawing option. So here we go, I've got my drawing screen and I'm going to use my finger. So I'm going to go up, 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 down, 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 up, over the heel, tuck it under for your butt, butt, butt. And then there's your little almost invisible lead off. Fantastic. Now you can choose your colour. Do a few different ones. They can overlap. That's fine. Here we go. Let's try a smaller one, shall we? Over. And obviously, you can undo. That's a fun thing. So however you want to practice. Over we go. Over, 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 over. Can undo if you want. Now yours will probably be a little bit different from my one, but there's lots and lots of different apps that you can draw on screen with, and it's a fun way of practicing your letters. Here we go. Let's do a black one. And you can just undo them at the end. Let's do one more last one. I'm going to leave you to have a little play and enjoy practicing your butt butt buzz. Super. Fantastic, everybody.